Hi, welcome to Down the Shed. I'm Jason. In this video, I am going to be building the, there we go, Velleman MK109 electronic dice. So I'll just give you a good look at the circuit board. And just having realised, I can see the reflection in my dead tablet. So that's the circuit board. So let's get it populated. Again, as with all the Veneman kits, you get a decent instructional card inside the packet. Gives you a step-by-step -step guide on all the moves. So there we have R1 and R2 on the board, 100k. Brown, black, yellow with a gold multiplier bands. Just make sure you check all the components before you start fitting, especially before you start soldering. Because R3, which is orange, 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 33K, could have been mistaken for R7, which is a 2K2, red, red, red. If I didn't check the other components, I'd have chucked that red, red, red in and screwed it up straight away. So just remember to check your components. R4, R5 are brown, grey, red, 1K8 or 1800 ohms. Then I'm going to populate R6, which is a 3K3 or 3300 ohm, orange, orange, red. And R7, 2200 ohms or 2K2, red, red, red. I think I'll start with the mill solder, as I really don't need tiny gaps on this one. I'm going to put one in and then I'm going to pause and I'll do the rest. You don't need to be watch me solder everything. Come on, Iron, there we go. I reckon a bit of flux is going to be wanted on there. That didn't go very well. There we go, that one's nice. Right, so there we have it. There's all the resistors on the board. Next, we'll crack on with the diodes, and I believe there are seven they are 1n41 4 8s watch the polarity the little black band on the diode oh where are we little black band on the diode goes with the white band on the end so quickly run you through d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so let's get those on Right, let's get a couple of these tacked down before the camera dies. I'm just going to put a tiny bit just to hold that one in because there's a double pad there. So I'll solder that in with the next component. It's enough to hold it in place anyway. Lovely job. Now oh, that one can do a bit more. That was pretty poor, and that one. And that one. There we go. So that's the diodes in. ZD1 is a Zener diode. That one goes in there. Looks exactly like all the others, apart from they were in a... On a one of these card things. So it can only be the only one. So I'll get that tacked down. I want to get that transistor in. I might just do that next and jump the instructions. So let's get that tacked on. There we go. Job is good. In. Actually, don't you see me solder something then? All right, snippy, snippy. Again, diodes, just watch the polarities. The black band goes on the shaded end of the uh, diagram. Right, we are going to jump the gun. Next, it wants me to do these 3mm LEDs, which I'm changing for 5mm ultra brights. Push button, capacitor 100NF, IC sockets, electrolytic capacitor 10UF, transistor, the ICs themselves, and battery pack. That's all that's left. So, I'm actually going to put the transistor in next just to tie up that. end of the diode that I haven't fully put in. Oh, it's a tripod effect one. Not in a straight line, but in the triangle effect. Right, again, the shape of the transistor is just matches the shape on the board. This is uh, 
absolutely crucial you get that right. Right, so we have a double pad here, so we'll just solder those two together like that. Jobs are good in. Okay, so let's have a quick roundup. The resistors are in, the seven diodes are in, and the Zener diodes in, and I've jumped the gun and I've put the transistor in so I can quite literally solder down that double pad there with this diode which I haven't snipped yet there we go right so let's get back on track I'm gonna put some LEDs in so that's five of the seven LEDs in I ain't gonna do the other two just yet because my PCB board holder actually gets in the way of these two here this is in the way so we'll do those at the end with the helping hands right I'm going to move on to the capacitors because that's also in the way of the switch so god these are a pain to get out of these little cards look at the state of that look So capacitor one is a hundred NF, a one oh four. That will slot in here, like right, so. Get a blue tacky on there. Hold him in space, in place, even in space. And now we'll go with the electrolytic capacitor, a ten UF. Again, remember polarity minus with the stripy side positive with the long leg so the plus is that side the minus is this side they haven't actually given you a uh, stripy side on there also it's got a longer drawing on the board and not a circle which means it lies down and doesn't stand up a bit of blue tacky let's try and just plug that there like so so we'll get these two soldered in it really doesn't take long. This thing is brilliant. One of these cheap Chinese soldiering stations off Amazon. But I'll tell you what, it was worth every penny. I think it was 35 quid. But treat yourselves, guys. If you're going to get one of these, go the whole hog and get one with a heat gun. I know Big Clive's got an iron the same as this, but this has got the heat gun. And um, yeah, save your world of pain with SMD, surface mount devices you can just put the paste on heat them up and jobs are good and right so that's the two capacitors in okay so all we've got left is two of the leds which i'm not telling you what color that's a surprise in fact there's a twist to it um i like these five mil ultra bright leds there we are and they like these three mil LEDs. Obviously, to keep costs down, Velabon bought a mahoosive shed load of 3 mil red LEDs, and that's what they put in every kit. Even the brain game. One moment. This has to be the best kit that I've made. Four red LEDs came with the kit, 3 mils. I've changed them out for red, green, yellow, and blue. And I think you have to agree when you're playing the game. That's a bit more satisfying. The yellow is a bit dim. They do take a lot of power. That was on level one. I've won. So, yeah, there you have it. I think that's much better. Right, remember with these uh, IC sockets, one end will have a little dimple in it, a little notch. Put that in with the little goal post or the goal symbol. Same with the other one. So 
So both of the notches are towards me, the goalposts are towards me, so that's the end I'll get the notches in. Now we'll blue tacky those down. Or hold them into place anyway. I'll do a corner, ooh, get in. I'll do a corner pin on each one and then take the blue tack off and sort the rest out just to hold them in. Sold and iron's waking up. I'm gonna have to put this onto like a two or three minutes sleep. I've got it on one minute sleep at the moment. Like 340, it's still warming up to 370. I don't know why I've got it. I'm gonna have to check what temperature I really need, really. That's one pin. Do the opposite corner. That's two. And the others, I see. Hold up. Well, there we go. So that's the corners in. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm properly happy with both of them. So literally all I need to do now is pop the ICs in, switch, last two LEDs, jobs are good. And so let me change equipment. If you are blue tacking stuff down and you leave a little bit of blue tack behind, trying to get a bit here, just get a cold piece of blue tack and dab, and it will pick up all the little litty bits of blue tack left on the board if there are any. So masking tape's good, I think blue tack's better, but that's my personal opinion. Right, as you can see, there are two LEDs left. I've now got the helping hands on the soldering station. So short leg on the flat side. Short leg on the flat side. These are absolutely crucial that you get the polarity right. That's the last two LEDs in. Snips. So the big chip for those of you that want to know is an 85 COE TKE4 and the bottom line is a CD4046BE. I'm not going to research that for you. The other one is a 91A3N9MG4, a CD4024BE. Now what I like to do to get these set is pretty much not on this, but... It's just to roll them on a flat surface, just gently, just to get the legs into line. Notch, notch, and then let's get that side in first. We can always manipulate this side. There we go. Slide that puppy home. So switch power and we are done. So the switch is pretty easy really. I'm going to take a bit of the zoom off this. So the switch is quite simple. Once you get it the right way around. And that is literally just going to sit in there like... Why won't it sit down? Crap. Okay. So what they haven't told you is, is they've put... A couple of pegs on the switch I don't know if it's designed like that but that won't sit flat against the board so I don't know whether it's been designed like that but we'll go with it I could file them down but there is a little bit of protrusion so let's get one leg in to start with Wakey, wakey iron. Right, that's one corner in. That's still quite level, so let's get the opposite one in. Yeah, that's in for you. Right, 
So there's a hole there, and a hole there. That'll be battery and power, I think. Oh, power, battery, yeah. So try not to fill that hole. There we go. So all we've got now is to uh, solder in the power. They could have given you a couple of through holes to feed the wire through, so it's all. This is got to basically come over the top like this. So plus. Can you see that? Probably not. The iron's gone to sleep again. Right, I've definitely got to sort out this uh, sleep timer. That's the plus. There's the minus. So really, all we need to do now is connect us up some power. Just so happens I've got a nine volt battery here on standby. And now we have the little surprise. The single one is a green. Second favourite alongside the uh, brain game. So, leave your comments below. Click like, click subscribe. I know I haven't got any, but somebody's got to be the first. And keep an eye on my channel for more.